Not setters, we just want some getters. So let's get a getter for our combo box. And we'll say combo box one dot get uh, model dot get selected. I, oh wait, I think we can just do get selected. Yeah, we can. Get selected item dot uh, to string. Okay. And then let's go ahead and remove this return. So now all this, um, and we'll call this get tree type. So this method get tree type is going to return a string, uh, which basically is saying that as soon as we, here I'll show you, if we use this um, GUI and we say oak, and then we hit the start button, this uh, method right here will return the combo boxes selected item, which is on oak, right? And then it'll say two string. So it will just return the word oak, which is how we know uh, what tree we want to cut. So to implement that into our script, we can go down here and where we have a chop tree method, which takes in the name of the tree. Uh, we can change the input right here, the parameters of tree, which would normally just cut down a tree to our GUI. And we can say dot, oh wait, maybe we cannot. Okay, so we could actually do it. I don't know, IntelliJ was just fucking up. So you just type GUI dot get tree type, right? And that's all. Easy peasy. So all this will do is it'll get the GUI's, oh, wrong class. It'll get the GUI's tree type, which is simply the combo box that is selected. Uh, we can put this in here because we know that the script has been started. And we know that uh, we, we actually want to start the script, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and actually add over here in this button action performed. Uh, so as soon as we start the script, we also want the GUI to disappear. So we're going to say this dot set visible to false. So it will still technically be there. It's just invisible. Like you couldn't click on it. So we can still get information from the GUI, uh, but the user can no longer interact with it, which is great. Um, so we what we've done so far is we've uh, made a boolean method to make sure that we're actually starting the script then if we do start the script it closes the GUI and then grabs the information of the tree type that we want so let's go ahead and compile that and run it and see what happens so if we run our script it should just open there we go so there's our GUI select your tree type start button okay so we can either select a tree or an oak so we got an oak right here and a tree. We'll go ahead and do tree first. So we'll hit start and there we go. It's cutting a tree. Okay, now let's stop the script and rerun it. And we'll select oak this time. So it should go ahead and right click or click on this oak. Okay, and there we go. It's clicking on the oak. Sadly, I don't have a high enough wood cutting level to show you that it actually works. However, it will now click on the oak instead of the tree. So now that our script has a GUI, uh, very simple GUI, yes, but it still works. Uh, you all can add your own GUI or uh, tree methods here if you want to. And by the way to do that is you can just hit comma, new line, and then type like magic tree, right? Or whatever the name of the game object that you want to cut down is. Um, and then just simply select that. So right here you could say, U and that would work. So if you hit the U button, then it would start cutting U's, but we don't have any U's in the area, so that wouldn't work. So now that we've got all that done, we've got it actually cutting trees, the tree that we want, right? Uh, in the area that we want and the banks as well. Uh, let's go ahead and add a paint for it. So DreamBot has a method called onPaint. So we use the override method uh, to make sure that the client knows that we're using DreamBot's on paint method. Uh, and let's uh, go ahead and start. So all this is gonna do is that this screen right here is the canvas and we're going to like draw, uh, like we could draw shapes or text or whatever the hell you want on the screen, right? And that's how people get those nice sexy paint images up on their screen and everything is because they load images. So I'm gonna show you how to load an image really quickly. 
And then we'll also load some text uh, for like a timer on how long we've run the bot and then also for how many logs we've cut and how many logs we've cut per hour. So I've created a simple picture online uh, and uploaded it to Imgur. Uh, and all it says is time ran, logs cut, and logs per hour. Very simple, but let's turn it into a paint now. So we're going to, now that we have an image URL, create a method which grabs the image from offline and then turns it into a usable image that we can then paint on the canvas of the screen, okay? So let's say private, uh, and it's going to return an image, private image get image, and we'll call it get image, right? And it takes in a parameter of a string, and it's the URL to our website, right? So let's say try because and then catch, right? And then I think it's IO exception, pretty sure. E, and we'll just end that uh, and do return null. No. Oh, you don't like that? Oh, probably because I don't have anything in here. Return image IO right there. Uh, dot read, and we're gonna say new URL and then the URL parameter that we take in. And there we go. So it's going to try and read the image from the URL that we give it, and then otherwise it's gonna return a null image, right? So let's say, now we're just gonna use this method, and we're gonna say get image, and then we're going to use this URL of the image that we just got. And that needs to be a string, of course. And there we go, so that will now load an image. So let's move that up here, and we'll say private image main paint equals get image of this link. So now main paint is equal to either null or the image if it successfully grabs our image. So let's say g.draw uh, image, draw image, and we'll say our image, so main paint, We'll say at point, let's say, that's probably like, oops, excuse me, that is probably 400. Maybe let's get our tool, go to position mouse, and look at this, so 340. So x, y, so 0, 340, and null layout. There we go. So let's compile this. And then, oops, excuse me, I keep fucking opening Spotify. And then let's just run this on here. 